Welcome back to the rental palace. To me, the world famous Main Street Blake. Also starring David Swallow. Omar is Tom. And introducing. Welcome back to the Rental Palace. We got a new movie here by uh, Joey Likenstein called uh, Music is for Open Mic Nights. So you driving the LRM around? Yeah, the LRM is basically a billboard with a billboard on it. You drive it around, you know, sell little billboards. Jesus was a billboard for God. Marilyn Manson was a billboard for Satan, you know. Yeah, well, I'm going to write a song about billboards. Well, I've already done that. But I'm going to write an even better song about billboards. And then I'm going to advertise it out on a billboard. <laughs> right. Kind of reminds me of uh, Warren Zevon, Send Lawyers, Guns, and Money. Yeah, man, the whole of Excit Excitable Boy is pretty awesome. I haven't listened to it, but I'll have to check it out. Yeah, Werewolves of London is just like DC and G all over again. I've been in all these, these like, like, bands that make you... I've been in all these bands that, like, in all these bands that make you, like, have all these parts to your songs. And, like, you know, Warren Werewolves of London was a huge hit, and it's just D and C and G all over again. I mean, it, uh, it makes you think, uh, you know, like George Kirk has got this handyman service. You should give him a call. Um, his number is 555-3535. And, you know, he'll come over and cut your lawn or tell you about 16th century Spanish labor practices, um, you know, or explain the economy to you. But, I mean, really, uh, they're just good lectures, you know. You know, good lectures just like, uh, like, like Warren Zevon. Yeah. Yeah, like Warren Zevon. I'm gonna write a song about Warren Zevon. You know that if we are to stay alive and see the peace in every eye. You know, I could do a video of 4K HD quadraphonic sound mashing Troy McClure's You'll Never Make a Monkey Out of Me with the latest King Kong movie, or I could just tweet about it. You know, even a five second gif illustrating the point would be a waste of time. It'll be forgotten as fast a movie they spent millions and millions of dollars on. And here we are doing this, so why can't we have one million dollars? Is this all this means to you? One million dollars? For all your effort, you could have been a millionaire businessman by now. Irony is essentially a negative activity. David Foster Wallace said that. It brings you up, but then it takes you down. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other night. These guys at work said the same shit, and I'm like, all right. This will make a great joke. And then those guys felt really hurt even thought they didn't know. And the one guy went on a drug binge at work and got fired. And... And you don't know if it's your fault, but you wonder if your negative karma caused the whole thing. Exactly. I wonder if irony is sometimes making a monkey out of me. You don't question irony. You just don't. Kind of like the Christians blindly follow their dogmas. We blindly follow irony because we think we'll make one million dollars. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, 
no, yes, no, no, yes, bang, sorry. I think one of the most traumatizing days of my childhood was this one good morning America, or today's show segment on the band that did that, Breakfast at Tiffany's song. Not your parents? Your parents didn't traumatize you? Oh no, they were fine, but here is this horrible band that did that horrible one hit wonder and it's their 15 minutes and they're acting like they're the next Rolling Stones. Even as a 13 year old, I knew it was over. Haha, uh -huh, yeah, when you know it's over and you realize for the first time ABC or NBC or whatever is just trying to spur you on into buying into these people and their crap, and their crap, and they don't care that it's crap, it's on a big expensive channel, so it must not be crap. And it was about this time I realized there was this big moneyed entity out there who knew nothing about art, just tried to launch these media crap campaigns to recoup their losses for, you know, paying the masses their salaries. Well, yeah, it's, you know, it's basically the basis for Marxism. Yeah, you gotta get fucking... Well, that's it. See you next time.